In this video I'm going to show you how to share your palettes across a, a wider area. Up until now we've created palettes on our own hard drive and on a shared network drive. Um, we can also share them on a WAN or a wide area network or in the case I'm going to show you now we're going to share it using the free um, Dropbox service um, www.dropbox.com Basically, it's a, a folder sharing service that synchronizes between computers. So if a file was changed on one computer, um, that would be reflected on any other computer that is linked to that folder throughout the world through the internet. So we're going to use Dropbox, um, in this case, to load in a family, a palette that has already been created by my colleague who's on the other side of the world in London. Um, as I've shown before, we've got three different palettes here, design documentation and detail components. This time I'm going to, instead of creating a palette, I'm going to go load existing palette. And I'm going to go and search into my Dropbox folder on my hard drive. Now this is a folder that has been synchronized throughout the world um, to any computer that is linked to this folder. You can have as many links as you like. Um, shared palettes and I'm going to load in the internet shared. So now my colleague on the other side of the world who has created this palette and now shared it to whoever else he wants to share it with is now available to me. Um, and I can I can select these items and insert them as, as you would expect. And if there was a change anywhere on here it would then be reflected on every single computer that is linked to this folder. Now if my BIM manager was to delete a file in the Dropbox folder that has been shared you'll notice down here the Dropbox um, icon at the moment has got a little green thing. Um, when he deletes it it will synchronize to every computer that is linked here and then it will show reflect in our tool palette here. We'll just wait until he does that. Okay, Dropbox has now picked up that the file there's a file that has been changed and it's doing a synchronization here and now it's saying that it's been synchronized. Now up here we've got a boiling water unit tap, Australian. If I go out of that tab and then go back into it, it's all been synchronized up and now this is the current palette. You notice down here that it's actually synchronizing again. My BIM manager must be doing something. Um, so if I now go out of furniture and back into that tab, um, wow, he's actually put a door into this one. So as you can see, it is um, very, very quick to synchronize over a network or um, over a wide area network over the internet. This is actually from two sides of the world, New Zealand through to the UK. Um, and it works seamlessly just like it was actually on our own computer. So we could have a BIM manager in one location sorting out all our libraries and then sharing those out over multiple locations. Um, so that's the power of um, our family browser combined over a WAN or wide area network or a service like Dropbox. I hope that's of some interest to you.